more. I think the problem is a lot of women think providing is abundance nowadays. No. If you know anything about finances, you know that a man can have a house with 50K. You know that. But see, women don't even You're have right. a concept of the money. It, it, not the house you want. Not the house I want. Not the house you want. That's, that's hypergamy. That's you wanting more. It's Talk future. future. Talk future. Ten. T- he has like what? Ten children? Ten of them. Ten. God. NBA young boy. What? Ten. ten of them. All of them girls. So you have one sexually irresponsible man. But you have seven sexually irresponsible women or wow. irresponsible women. Blaming the woman. Listen to this. If you're a woman, why are you laying down with the man that you know that does not take care of his children? Uh-oh. What's up, YouTube? Poor Man Podcast back with another video. Give me the HBO special. That's the Help a Brother Out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Let's get right into the video. Women. Uh, 10 out of 10. Women. Really? Women are more responsible for failed relationships in 2021. Why do you feel like that? Because... Okay, I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to start it off with a question. All right, okay. let, me go, let me go and warm up a little bit. When a man DMs you, what makes you determine whether you respond or you don't respond? I'll be honest with you. I don't take anyone serious that slides into my DMs. Like, that's not where I'm looking for a relationship from. Mm. Like, that's not the, like, mindset I have. So if I respond to a DM, it's based on, like, what you say to me and it's on a friendly manner uh, I don't go based on relationships from Instagram so you never you've never built a relationship with somebody through messaging that could be DM on Instagram it could be SMM was it MSM on a relationship never you've never all my relationships I have met that person like out and about Basically, what I'm trying to get at is women look for the wrong things in men, and that's what leads them to a lot of the problems that they have in relationships. Are you sure that's not women looking for the wrong things in men, or men are looking for the wrong things? Because let me ask you this. Let's turn that question around. What made you DM that woman? What she looked like. Yeah, so, like, men, y'all base that DM on what she looks like, and y'all have no idea, like, what she has in her head, what she has going for herself. So you're telling me that women go based on the wrong things, but you're going based on nothing but physical how is that not the wrong? Well, men are visual creatures. And I think where women fail, especially in 2021, is women try to be the same as men. I think at first it was about equality. Now women want to be the same as men. But nature has, different, has a different role in that. So men are allowed to be physically attracted to a woman. Women are not allowed to be physically attracted to a man? You are. But if you go for a man that's physically attractive then you're looking for the wrong things. Don't you want a protector and a provider? So you just said it yourself. If you go for him that's physically attractive, you're going after the wrong things. But then you turn around and said the question was, women are the reason why relationships are failing in 2021. You clearly just told me men are physical. When you go after physical, you're going after the wrong thing. So how are men not the issue? Well, men and women are different. You got to understand that. Ooh, Off the rip. So and you, I, know that that's, I know that's controversial. You can't even say that nowadays. You can't. Because you can't. how are men and women different? We both can't. We were both born the same way. You give. We both have the same mind. We both have the same opportunities. So how are we different? You give birth, don't you? That's the only thing. That's a pretty big difference when you're talking about dating based on attraction. Especially when women have the pick of the litter. See, men have to deal with what we can get. Women have the pick of the litter, the litter and you get to choose the men the that you have. The litter. There are more women on this earth than there are men. So therefore, men have the pick of the litter. You can, you can walk into a room it's and you can true. choose from 10 women. Women, we have to settle. We, ha- we have to pick and choose what we decide we're going to deal with and what we're not going to deal with because there are not enough men out here that are readily available. So if... Women, if, so do you think men have more options than women? Way more. So if you text every man in your phone right now and you say you want to smash tonight, what's your success rate on that? A hundred percent. Okay, now ask me the same question. That's different. Though. It depends on how you look. That's, That's what I would answer to and, and if you ask for my response on that. That's so different. what I'm basically trying to say is women have the sexual selection, so you get to choose who you want to be involved with. Men are easy. That's the only reason why I can say a hundred percent. Like, the thing is, I feel like women are not as easy to get with than, as men are. And it is what it is. Like, men can be in an entire relationship, and you can tell them, hey, I want to fuck you tonight. And they will jump on that. 
this, and they will forget what they have at home. But I feel like women think a little bit more into that before they make that decision. Okay, basically what I'm trying to get at is this. If you want a man that can protect and provide for you because that's a male's role, why are you judging who you want to be with based on appearance? Because you have to be sexually and physically attracted to a person. I feel like, why do, why do women, why do we have to accept the bare minimum? But for men, y'all, mm. we have to come with 100%. We have to check off every box. But as women, we have to be like, you know what? He provides. He, he, he's, he's loyal, so therefore he doesn't have to be physically attractive. What, what boxes is y'all, are y'all checking off? Let me know what you... We, tra- we check off everything. We are smart. Okay. We provide. We're good wives. We're good mothers. We have good. We come from good homes. We can cook. We can clean. We're good in bed. Like everything that we have to mount up to, we do. And I feel like as women, unfortunately, we have to settle. I'm going to take it in the order that you said, because when you ask a question off the top, usually people respond with what's off the top. Okay. Right. Your first things that you listed had nothing to do with what men want and women. So what do y'all want? And that's the problem. We want a feminine woman that wants to be fit, that wants to take care of the small inconveniences in our lives and reciprocate the value. The so if I go the inconveniences in my life. So for me, for example, I go to work every single day. My wife gets to sleep in if she wants to. I have a trip to Florida in, in 10 days. She's already booked the trip. She's already booked the flight. She's already taking care of the Airbnbs. I don't have to worry about that. When I get when I sit down, she brings me a warm plate. That's something that I look for in a woman. I don't care about if a, if a woman can provide. But why why like would a man care about if a woman can provide? Do you feel like your household is a typical household that we see now in 2021? Are, are we now in a in a atmosphere where it's both women and men bringing things to the table as far as providing for a household? You say your your wife your wife gets to sleep in. Yeah. Okay, that is that's really good. Yeah. But that's not typical. That's but that's because my wife selected me based on my drive and not my appearance. She's seen the vision. She's seen where I wanted to go, and she helped me get to that position. So when she do ain't, women do that? Why do we get called gold diggers? Do you feel like your wife was a gold digger? Because she looked at your drive, she looked at your ambition, she looked at what you could do for her financially? My wife was with me since I was 15, so that in particular, I'm gonna give you that, you know, cause that's not the typical situation. What I'm trying to get at, I don't, oh, if a woman is counted a gold digger if the man already is solidified, and that's what women want in 2021, and that's why it don't work out. Y'all try to go for men that are already solidified, that look a certain kind of way, and then when it don't work out, y'all play dumb. Look at, look at Brittany Renner. P.J. Washington, she dealing with P.J. Washington. Oh, he told me this, he told me that. That don't matter. Did he put a ring on that finger? We judge character based he off did. action. We judge characters. They were ba- married. We judge character based on actions. They were married, so I'm what, confused. PJ, PJ Washington and Brittany Ray was married? Yes. Oh, shit, I fucked that up then. But you looking at like situations like Sierra and Future. Look at their situation. You dealing with a man that's been around the block, he got kids, he ain't been taking care of his kids, and now you wanna lay up with him. And this ain't even something that's celebrity. Only reason I use celebrities is because we all know them people. Mm-hmm. I can go to the hood right now to it, it show you hella relationships that's messed up because it's a dude that's a crackhead, he got three or four baby mamas. Mm-hmm. He ain't doing nothing with his life, but because he look a certain way, all these women wanna lay up with him and date him based on potential. But when you talking about potential, are you talking about Will Smith before he became Will Smith? Because that's potential. Are you talking about Barack Obama when Michelle Obama held him down through law school? Because that's potential. Mm-hmm. But are you talking about a dude that's just sexually attractive that ain't doing nothing with his life and you hoping that he get it together one day while he living off of your, uh, your refund check? I feel like that's easier said than done. Like you said, you want women to go. You're telling me women should date based off potential. But as soon as we do that, we get called every negative name in the book. If we look at a man and say, hey, he has a good job. He can financially provide for me. He might not be the best looking, but I look good. We automatically get labeled a gold digger. But you're telling me that's what we should be going after. But I'm. But you're also saying that. Look at Brittany Renner. She went. She went after a guy that could financially provide for he for her. He might not have been the best guy, but she was. Would you consider Brittany a, a gold digger? Uh, I would consider her an opportunist. For sure, and I think that her resume shows that, and I think that that's but why she's catching is, the flag. She's catching the flag because she promoted herself and branded herself as a woman that would go after men for a check. Why can't we go based off potential and opportunity? 
you can go based off of potential and opportunity, but the problem is y'all not going off of potential and opportunity. Y'all going you off are. of men that are already successful. That's the problem. And there's nothing and when, wrong with that. You have to look at the age that we're dating at name, at this point. There are people becoming more successful younger and younger. We're not talking about these people that are becoming successful in their 50s and 60s. People are coming, becoming millionaires in their young 20s. That's Instagram. That's the difference in perspective. Men don't reach financial potential, the peak of their financial potential, until about 55 to 65 years old. That's not always true, though. It's you, not always true, but see, I now date. we go into the exceptions. But you don't know who I date. What we, if I date the exceptions? We go into the exceptions. What if I date the exceptions? But you don't, because if you was dating the exceptions, you would still be with them. Who says I'm not with them? Okay, maybe that's fair. <laughs> okay, what I'm basically getting at is women are looking for the wrong... Name me one good king, one good conqueror that had one woman. LeBron. You think LeBron got one... I'm an athlete. I'm an ex-professional athlete. Come on, let's keep it I a mean, buck. You think LeBron ain't... All and I'm not even going, is, and you can't even count Martin Luther King because he was sleeping around. He was. Right, so what are we Obama, talking about? Any good Obama. man that has already been established? Come on, let's just keep it above. I'm just saying it's that a clean image. Didn't we just discuss that if you text everybody in your phone right now, you, you said 100% success rate would sleep with you. That's not the case for average men. Do you know that 30% of men will be virgins by the age of 30? Will have never touched a woman. That means that women have the selective choice of who they mate with. So you have the responsibility of who, allow, who you allow in your body. Y'all choosing them based off appearance. That's what I'm trying to get at. When, and y'all got the whole, y'all got the whole, y'all got a layout. All you got to do as a woman is, okay, so for men, our burden to society, our burden to humanity is to build civilizations. That's our job. Mm. Whatever you want, I'm going to provide. Men, build the microphone, build the camera, build the house. This is all men. This is what we do. We provide you gonna make the face like we don't do that? This I mean, is what we do. We provide for women have started things first a lot of the time, but it's okay. Go ahead. And the reason why I feel like it is men because I feel like men have too many options. I feel like men uh, kind of are at this point like they find something good, but they're never satisfied. So whenever they feel like something else comes to them that might be a little bit better, unfortunately, they hop on that and they take that next option. So, so when I just said the statistic that 30% of men will be virgins, that didn't like do anything. That didn't prove, Nothing. that didn't show to you that men don't, by and large, have the majority of the options. Mm -hmm. men, get with what, get, men get with what they can get. Women get to choose who they want when it comes to sexual because I feel like virgins could be not shit too. So no. So everybody in your phone that you get to choose from, those are all men that are in your plethora of people you can be involved with. Now it's up for you to decide whether those men are good candidates for you to be involved with. Now that's your responsibility as a woman. Like I said, a man's responsibility is to build civilizations and societies. A woman's responsibility is to, br to bring forth the next generation of society builders. That's your job. No. I feel like I have to disagree. I feel like women build families, women build households, women build homes. So I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. How can you say that women build these things and you say that men are responsible for the failings of relationships, yes. but the things that you listed that women are bringing to the table in relationships aren't things that men want in relationships. Maybe not what you want, but I feel like that's what the typical man wants. If I can provide for my family and my kids and I make enough money to do that by myself, why do I care about how much money you bring to the table when you want me to pay all the bills anyway? So when I you ask really you what do you bring like to the table, men are paying all the bills nowadays. When I ask you what do you, when I ask men, you, men are asking women to split checks. Women go to dinner and men are asking to go Dutch. That's because sorry, you ask for men are not paying bills. for equality. Men are not paying bills. If you ask for equality, we give you what you want. You uh, ask for society, are you, are you, are we you give you what you want. Because you're broke. And because we can provide better. Oh, is that what it is? Because last I time feel. I checked, women don't make as much as men on average. Last time I checked, it's a lot of women that think they boss babes and boss b words walking around here that's solo and angry and sad. See, that's see, I don't like that. I don't like that. So you're telling me just because she's a boss, she has to be solo, she has to be bitter, she has to be by herself. I have to disagree because you. I feel like whenever men, whenever men want to be a boss, whenever men want to be this like mogul women praise them but whenever it comes to black men and whenever it comes to black independent women y'all automatically consider us bitter because we're successful and that's not fair what we don't have anymore is family 
Right. And that's because the women, what we want from women, they're not providing to us. We don't have any stability in our household. When you look at the Martin Luther King movement, when you look at the Malcolm X movement, when you look at Black Wall Street, all of that was built by black families, not by black women being independent women looking for the, the highest guy on the totem pole that they can get. Because you understand that when men have opportunity, like you said, they largely do not settle down with one woman. So why are women looking for men that are the most handsome and tallest guy that got all the money? when that's not the guy that's statistically speaking gonna stick with you and you know that because you just said it. So to go back to your point, the reason why we don't have families is because black men are not present. Uh, Let's take a plethora of examples. Let's look at Tristan Thompson. Tristan has a third baby mama, okay? Mm -hmm. And he was willingly sleeping with this woman unprotected nutting in her mm. okay right. he knew what the outcome could be right right but as soon as she got pregnant he said well i'm not gonna be present so okay. why are you even having the baby so why why are you having unprotected sex with a woman when you don't even plan on being present for a, a possible baby that could happen okay listen to let's this take though. future hit me out let's okay take, yeah go ahead talk talk let's future. Take future talk future 10 he has like what 10 10 children? of them 10 god nba young boy what 10, ten of them all of them girls. So you have one sexually irresponsible man, but you have seven sexually irresponsible women. Or in Future's case, you said 10, nine sexually wow. irresponsible women. Because why so would you- blaming the woman. Listen to this. If you're a woman, why are you laying down with the man that you know that does not take care of his children? Uh-oh, you're going after status symbols. You're going after men that you find that are successful that already have the clout. You know that they're not gonna stick to you. You already said that. And then when you get left in the dust, you cry on social media like this, like you didn't know it was going to happen. You knew what you came for. Y'all know how men are. Uh -oh. Men can go into a relationship. They might have a bad history. They might have a bad rap. But when, they, when you go into the relationship, they might be telling you sweet nothings. Okay? Next thing you know, you think you're different. Uh-oh. Okay? So you think you're different and you feel like the story might play out differently for you. So how are you going to blame the woman when it's the man that has the children, this woman is coming in, a, no kids, no history. The man has all the history, and you're telling me you want to blame the woman? I blame the woman because she's dealing with a man she knows. Is, it, number one, because she's dealing with a man that she knows is inconsistent. Number two, because she has birth control. She has plan Bs. She has... And men can't, and men has, can't, hold on, hold on. No, I got men you. can't okay, pull out. I got you. Men she, can't just be I got you. I got you. She has birth control. Plan B's. She has condoms. Worst case scenario, she has reproductive rights. She when a condoms. man, when a man sleeps with a woman and that child or that what it is, I ain't trying to you know for the for the algorithm. When it goes inside of her, that's up to her. He is 100% responsible. The government will even hold him responsible. A woman can put a child up for adoption and have no, no, no connection to that child whatsoever. Men have less reproductive rights than women. Now, we can talk about condoms, but if we just keeping it a buck, these women decided to lay down with men that they knew were inconsistent, and that's their problem, and that's the problem at large. A lot of women are deciding to sleep with men that they know are inconsistent, and they don't care. So you said that women have condoms. So why is it whenever a man tries to go in raw, you tell him no, you're like, where's the condom at? Oh, I don't have condoms. But if the woman was to pull a condom out, would you not feel like, why she have condoms? No, I feel like, okay, she being responsible at least. Because what are we doing? If I'm not willing to have a child and I understand me as a man, me being a responsible man, this is what you should be looking for. If you're looking for a man that's going to question you on that, you shouldn't even be in that situation no way. But why are you trying to go in raw in the first place? But why are you dealing with a man that you don't know in the first place? How do you think I don't know him? Just because, what? How? When you lay down with a man and you ain't even talked about sex before you having sex, what are you doing having sex? Why do you have to talk about sex before you have sex? Because, why can't it just be spontaneous? Because if you can't have a conversation about something that you're uncomfortable with, why are you doing it? Who's saying that you're uncomfortable? If you're, you're doing something that could dictate the entire direction of your life, yes. and you think that you should be as irresponsible as to not even have a conversation as to whether you should use protection before you do it as a woman. So you're telling me you never had sex unprotected? I'm telling you I got a wife, so I do it. I'll shoot the club up, baby, but <laughs> that's, none, that's, that's me. We hit on some good points when it comes to the whole, the, the whole dynamic. But the truth of the matter is, and I think we agree now, you can, you can jump around the loop and jump around the holes and circles. You agree with me that men, that men have fewer options no. You don't think that men have fewer options no. than women? No. We never you, agree. You there. agree with me that men who have a lot of options don't commit to women, generally speaking? Yes. Okay. So when you see the situations with Future and all the people you brought up, mm -hmm. 
they're dealing with men that have a lot of options, but they decide to be sexually irresponsible. So when you're dealing with a group of women that worship the men that are part of the problem in a culture, I mean, hood dudes, there is thugs, black, there's black entertainers. Worship, that's very true. Yeah, no, and, and it largely goes for thugs and entertainers. Yeah. Nobody wasn't checking for Will Smith before he was Will Smith. Nobody was checking for Jordan Peele before he was Jordan Peele. Okay. These dudes are lames. These dudes are weirdos until they get successful, right? But a guy like Future can have eight baby mothers and still get seven women pregnant or ten baby mothers, like you said. And after the first one, nine women will still lay down with him knowing that he is not sexually responsible. That means that there are nine sexually irresponsible women, one sexually irresponsible man. That is the problem. And everybody will point out like the man and saying that he is a part of that problem, which he is. But that's only one man and nine women. So why are we not talking about the nine women that are also a part of that problem? He's a repeat offender. Okay. He's a repetitive offender. So, therefore, I feel like he is more irresponsible than these nine women that you are claiming to be irresponsible. My point is, to answer this question, I feel like men are the more responsible party for failed relationships in 2021 due to the fact that they are never satisfied. They have too many options. I feel like men do the absolute bare minimum, if that, at this point. So, I feel like women, they continue to try and try and try. But it's like men just don't step up to the plate anymore. They just don't. They don't provide. They're not what they're cut out to be. So unfortunately, it's women who are holding these relationships together. And what, they can't hold them together anymore. I think the problem is a lot of women think providing is abundance nowadays. No. Providing, because for me to provide, if I'm living in the middle of America, let's not take Dallas in situation because we are in Dallas. But let's go middle of America. You can live comfortably over 50K. But a lot of women largely are unaccepting of that. A lot of women, want, they want more. Right? So you're talking about men are not satisfied with their situations. But it's obviously the women because the women are the ones dropping out at 70%. These are the, the women are the ones filing for divorce. 50K is right? not enough. I'm just it, it, see, there we go. 50K is not enough, right? But it is enough. That's if you house. want a man that can protect and provide. If you want a man that can provide you abundance, that's when you start going into that, that group Why of men. Why does that have to be abundance? I want a house. I want cars. Like, how is that abundance? Because that's a man, minimum. if you know anything about finances, you know that a man can have a house with 50K. You know that. But see, women don't even yeah. have a concept of the money. Not the house you want. Not the house I want. Not the house you want. That's, that's hypergamy. That's you wanting more. And that's then when not you, hypergamy. But listen, if listen, I bring more than 50K listen, hear me out, though. Hear me out. Let me go and finish. Let me go and finish. If you have hypergamy and you want a man that makes more than that, now you're getting into that group of men that are part of the 10% group. Those men have a lot of options. And we agreed that when men have a lot of options, they don't settle down. Women want these men to make 100K thinking that it's just sweet and it's normal. Most men the average wage for a man is 50k so if you want a man you got to be okay with 50k that's where you at once you start to become hypergamous you're going to start fair. to deal with relationship that's issues and like fair. you just said you don't think that's that he's going to be able fair. to provide a house big enough for you that's not fair so you're telling me just because i want a man i have to be settled with 50k that doesn't make any sense okay